All right, so the next one we're talk about is Sega's next entry into uh, the console market, and this was uh, released to compete with the PlayStation, and that is the Sega Saturn. Now, the Saturn was um, kind of like a bad blood system. It was released to compete against, the, like I said, the PlayStation, but when they had released the Saturn, they had already started talking, like shortly after the release of the Saturn, uh, that they had another console on the way, which uh, they, they hadn't announced yet. Um, they just told developers, hey, by the way, we have another system coming. So a lot of developers were pretty ticked because purchasing and developing for um, a specific piece of hardware takes a lot of financial investment. And then just to have the company say, oh, by the way, we're making another system here in a couple of years, you know, just kind of didn't really sit well with people. And it kind of pissed them off. Um, but anyway, so this, this is the Saturn. And um, so this is it right here. I'll kind of pull it forward a little bit, get a little better view of it. So this is the Saturn. Uh, you'll see it's very similar uh, in design, kind of, you know, it's the same thing, disk-based system. You, know, you have your eject button, all that stuff. Now, one of the things that made the Saturn a little more unique was the fact that the Saturn, let me close the lid, and I'll kind of tilt it up here. Uh, it had an expansion port. I'm not too sure if you guys can see that or not without me unplugging something, so. Uh, there's an expansion port there and that was really designed to either allow for um, other things that you could add on to it that they're planning in the future or not but um, anyways so what you could buy were uh, expansion memory cards and so this uh, does have some inter internal memory um, but having a cartridge in here like this would actually give you the ability to save to the cartridge instead um, I'm just going to pop that out though. Okay, so let me grab. Uh, so Sega kept the same idea with the large long boxes for their games. They put them in these big boxes still. This is the last year that they did this because uh, these cases were pretty expensive. And um, we'll go ahead and drop this in and then we'll uh, fire this one up too. Let me hit two on the thing there. And then we'll fire this guy up. Actually, I'll leave it open. And you guys can see the uh, screen that pops up. So when the Saturn pops up, this is the CD player. And uh, what made this really cool is when you put CDs in it, um, you could have this view. <clears throat> but then you could also hide the controls. And so you get the spaceship flying around while you're listening to your music on the screen, which is actually kind of a cool little thing they did. Um, it would just fly around. Uh, as you listen to music CDs and stuff like that, which was, like I said, kind of neat. <clears throat> um, I'm going to drop the game in here. And this is kind of like their uh, interface. That's like the user interface. So if you didn't have a disk in it, this I could access system settings and stuff. <clears throat> Now this is their first true 32-bit system. This basically combined everything that they had learned from 32X, uh, Sega CD, uh, and the Genesis, and they improved upon it and built this. Now what the Sega CD was actually really strong with, sorry, um, not the Sega CD, the Saturn. What the Saturn was really strong with versus other, other, ga other game consoles, the PlayStation really did super well with 3D, whereas the Saturn really did well with 2D. So you'd find that fighting games like Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Uh, Marvel vs. Street Fighter, stuff like that, were way better on the Sega Saturn, whereas 3D games like Twisted Metal, Tomb Raider, and stuff like that, they were way better on the PlayStation. Hidden path. Take it? Yeah. Take it. One of the coolest, coolest games you guys probably never seen. It's really too bad. It's like a, There's a tree. 20 minute intro video that's hilarious. It's all about really Dungeons and Dragons and tree. stuff, but something I'll have to show you guys another time. Okay, so this is the Saturn. Up the tree. 